Hi guys, welcome to Classic Rock and Country Music Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Before we get started, ask you to please subscribe. Thank you very much. Uh, today's video is a uh, behind-the-scenes story of uh, Alice Cooper's wheelchair surprise on his 30th birthday. Take a look. Alice Cooper reflected on his early years of addiction issues and how he became infamous for it. Uh, in an interview with Page Six, the rocker talked about his drug and alcohol intake in the early 80s and how he realized he was putting himself in danger. He explained, I woke up one morning and I threw up blood. That's how I kind of knew it was over. My wife grabbed my ear and said, hey, the party's over. Well, in a recent interview with Classic Rock, uh, Cooper said he and his band were living the rock star life uh, since the beginning. He shared the story of his 30th birthday gift and confessed, uh, there wasn't one human being on the planet that thought we'd get past 30 years old. In fact, when I turned 30, all of my friends clubbed together and got me a wheelchair. He admitted that he wasn't expecting to reach his current age of 75. But I quit drinking, taking drugs, very successfully. I've been happily married for 47 years, so all the stress is out of my life. Stress kills people faster than anything else. Worrying about money, career, I've got nothing to prove anymore. When asked about his involvement with Aerosmith's idea to get clean in the 80s, Cooper said his first piece of advice to the, uh, in those situations is to adopt a whatever-it-takes attitude. He noted, I never went to AA. When I came out of the hospital, I had absolutely no desire to drink. And I was a classic alcoholic. When I came out, it was like a biblical miracle. And being a religious person, I look at it like God took it away from me. But the guys in Aerosmith were in AA every day, and I really admired that. He also mentioned that he was often referred to as the Dean Martin of Rock, the guy who, uh, on a permanent golden buzz, which meant his victory over addiction is particularly remarkable. He continued, so everyone thought if Alice Cooper can stop drinking, so can I. So I'd get calls from movie stars and rock stars looking to get sober. I don't mind that role because maybe that's why it was taken away from me so I can help other people. Meanwhile, Cooper is currently working on two new albums, and he's back on the road with the Hollywood Vampires for a tour. The All-Star Band releases their live and Rio album on June 2nd. Well, that would have been like a week ago. Um, appreciate you guys being here. Uh, I understand everything he just said uh, sounded like I was talking about myself. Same deal. Uh, bad alcoholic, real bad. and. Uh, it just all went away by the grace of God. I didn't have to do AA. I didn't do AA. I, I was in a bar uh, two or three days after I quit drinking, drinking a Pepsi. So it, it's, it's all God. I mean, it's if you're in that situation and you want to quit, that's the first step I would take is get your relationship straight with God because he can help you a whole lot more than anybody else. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Have a great day. God bless you. I'll be praying for you.